I'm recording the intro at the end of the video. But anyway, um, in this video, I'm going to record, I recorded answering the questions that I've received on YouTube. Like I said, just ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them and do whatever you request uh, my viewers. If you watch the video and you leave a comment below and you ask me to do something, if I got time, I'll do it for you. I mean, why not? We're learning together, right? So my questions was, can I get close-up shots of the equipment? I hope I give you the best I could with the lighting I have in my camera. So in this video, you can see close-up shots of the equipment. I measured everything I can think of that wanted me to measure length, width, height. Uh, I weighed the bench, I weighed the barbell, and another question somebody asked me was the platform feel. Honestly, I'm gonna address that. Oxfit, I hope you watch my videos. I hope you, not just because you watch the videos and listen to my, run my mouth, but read the comments below and hear feedback from potential customers or customers like myself to get feedback, hopefully, uh, to make it a better piece of equipment. It's already a great piece of equipment so far, but I haven't even had it 24 hours yet and I haven't even used it, so. And I haven't exercised, and you'll see another video, I haven't even exercised in three years or seven months, so. But the, the platform feel, as of right now, feels solid. It does. The only thing I got is Oxfit. If you're listening, there's some things I have to say that I hope you listen to. The rubber stop, stops or pads or whatever you call them, feet, whatever, that's on the bottom of the platform that sits on the surface. Well, most of your appliances, at least that I've dealt with, pretty home, you know, washing, dishwasher, whatever, uh, <clears throat> some refrigerators they come with adjustable legs so they can be put on surfaces because not everybody's house surface is perfectly flat that's the situation in my home um, so what I'm going to do is I'll get some wood uh, tongue suppressors or you can get some paint stirs something wood you don't want the metal you know, to tear up your floor but I'm going to get some wood shims and I'll put them there to shim it out because there is a little bit of high spot and that will make a difference but if it was completely flush because if it had the, if they would just put on the corners some adjustable legs, then you could take that extra centimeter or a meter or eighth of an inch out, that would make a big difference depending on how, because this is a wide deck, so it's a lot wider than say some of your appliances and they have those too, so why not have that on this? So that would be a big thing. Before I get onto the video with everything else, I've said it in the video, but I would cut that out, but I want to address it here. If Oxford's listening, if Oxford's not listening, it does no good. Is this my perspective? Yeah. Three gentlemen showed up to deliver it. One of them was Mr. Peter, one of the engineers, the co founder or whatever, and the engineer of the motor, which was cool. He showed up and knowledgeable. Of course, I don't even know what to ask yet because I haven't even used it, so I'm clueless. But my point being, the two guys, well, three of them, they all helped, but the two guys did most of the heavy lifting. My hats off to them, I said, give them a pat on the back and give all your team a pat on the back because I'm sure they've been working their butt off because yesterday, and, well, I don't want to cuss, but they worked their rolling behind off just to get it in my home. And if you didn't see the video, I got a concrete driveway, my front door, and right inside my front door is my office, but this is where I'm sitting right now. And there's no steps. I mean, I got that one, of course, your house has a look. <coughs> Look at It's kind of going on now. Um, and it woke there behind, behind. I didn't want to put all that footage in the video and be disrespectful, but it took them a long time to get in here. And I thought it'd be a quick, you know, come. I know it's heavy, but when you engineer and you got enough brains to engineer such a nice piece of equipment, it kind of fell short on the, the hey, let's put it in someone's house department. Because people will have steps, people will have hills, people will have st stairs, and people will have carpet and different types of flooring. And, Lord forbid, I like to see somebody set this up like that. That's gonna suck. Whoever who's gonna move it, because they couldn't hardly move it. I didn't even know if this is getting my freaking house on a flat surface. Because one, from the bottom to the top, with the plastic caps off, it's about maxed out for normal doorway height. So, to me, I would lay it down and bring it in that way instead of up like this. I bring it horizontal, but I don't know if you can the way it's designed. I didn't design it. The engineering team needs to go to drawing board. In my opinion, find a way to put casters on this thing, wheels on it, or some way to 
handle was something you could bolt on and take off to turn it horizontal to lift it, move it out. Because the way they did it yesterday, you know, sometimes you get a hernia. I don't give a crap whenever you have straps that will hurt yourselves. And um, if you're a normal person like me or husband or wife or wife or whatever the case may be, and you go to move this around your home, good freaking luck. If you go to buy another place and you want to go move move this thing, good freaking luck. If you want to, if you're a rental property and you need to move, good freaking luck. I know it's not anchored to the wall like your competitors, but it, may, it might as well have freaking lag bolts anchored to the floor because the damn thing is so heavy that an average person is not going to sit here and move this thing around just like a couch. <laughs> it ain't happening. If it has some kind of casters on it, wheels on it, a way to tilt it safely, then you can have two people two adults to move it around out of your way if you want to do spring cleaning or you want to move it to another room or you move a million scenarios but in my opinion once it's in it's in so you pay somebody or you get somebody to move it it's not like it's not anchored to the wall but it must be anchored to the floor this freaking head and it's solid and it whooped them it's hard enough for them to move it to get it centered to move it an inch they had to pick it up and move it an inch what it's like it's moving an inch you just have to be if you get one that's in delivery if it's set up like this and they don't have uh, some kind of design better than what they have when they come out here you'll see it isn't like oh we're just moving an inch just go it's it, no it ain't happening it's a solid piece of equipment which is a plus the design on moving it is an f it's terrible so good luck it ain't anchored but it might as well be anchored it might as well be part of the house anyway um i really want Oxford to hear that because them guys brought their butt off and uh, they need a pat on my back. Very appreciated. And, uh, and the piece that's broken, as you'll see in the video, uh, in one of my other videos, I'm not really upset about it because it will come out today and I'll fix it. All right, so, whatever. So, if they come out here and handle business and fix it, it is what it is. Get a better QC department. I don't know if you have a QC department, some kind of quality control. If you don't, you need one because they need to go through all your equipment and look at it better. Something slipped through and I'm sure it could slip through on other things too. And it could uh, get somebody seriously hurt. If you watch the video, you'll see what broke. And again, comment, ask any question you want. I got a three-day weekend coming up and hopefully I get to do it. I'm sweating and I haven't even got to work out on this thing yet. So uh, anyway, I greatly appreciate y'all guys' comments. Ladies and gentlemen, I greatly appreciate it because that gives me something to do a video on and makes me think about things about this too. So the screen, people ask, oh yeah, real quick, you wanna ask me about the operation of the screen, how does it work? Look, I'm as green as you are. I'm clueless right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm clueless. I went to work last night after it was delivered, I have no idea. So, watch my videos and how to do exercises, we'll fumble through it and I'll look like a butt, trying to, like an ignorant person trying to figure this out, okay? But we'll do it together. And twelve point four for the cushion. Not even enough of extra. So, this is on the slider. So. All right. <clears throat>
I don't have a camera person, so I'm doing my best I can. But I'm going to get y'all some measurements. And I just got your weights. And I'm whispering because people are sleeping. But something I want to point out. Um, first, you shouldn't lift this up the way I had it completely vertical. <clears throat> but if you do, this seat will pop off the top, obviously, because it's only just sitting right down in there. So what I want to point out is the distance. See if this maybe you can see from here. All right, focus on the distance from here to here, and here you can see right there. All right. So I mean, that's so the the cushion will only go on one way. So you're gonna put it on. It's a bigger distance towards the uh, this side versus this side. This is where your head will be at when you're doing bench, and this is where your butt will be at when you're doing the roads, kayaking, and such. Getting close up pictures. And what I noticed, what I noticed is right here in the corner. And this bench. I don't know if it'll wipe off or not. It's not cut, it's just got miles, I need reading glasses. But it is, you can see it in the camera. It's not tears, it's just, I don't know what it's from. Something rubbed across it. But, so that's on there. So I haven't said anything to them about it, but I'm sure they'll watch the video. But that's one thing right there. I'm not aware, I'm not too upset about it really. Um, and it's got wheels on both sides. So you need to take that consideration too. So you can lift it up from either end and for your distance measurement. This is the, this will pop down to support you while you get your bench all the way back to do your rows. And now let's get your measurement. Pretty close to 56 and a half, I mean 55 and a half, 56 inches. It's kind of hard to measure by myself because you got the wheels. They come out here. Camera, there we go. Straight. There we go. Got the camera running straight on. So you're 55 and a half. A little touch over. So you want to play with 56. If you're looking for clearance, you want to go 56 inches. All right. The width is right about 16 inches. However, you do have the little pegs that stick out the side. And they stick out right about two inches. So that's two inches on each side to add to that. I measured the barbell, uh, standing it up and measuring it from the floor is uh, 41 and a quarter inches. So I'll write that on the screen. 41 and a quarter from the edge to the bottom. When I was standing up on the floor, I couldn't do it with a camera in my hand. So anyway, it's 41 and a quarter for that. I like the knurling too, by the way. The, the, the knurling, the space right here kind of helps you line up 
your hands once you get your arms comfortable using visual. Now this isn't the best tape measure in the world. That's about one inches across. All right. There's your other bar. It says reference to the Barbara for a size. They are the kayak paddle bar, or what do you want to call it? Kayak one. <clears throat> it's definitely the lightest one. And then the row one is pretty light. And the barbell said it weighed, what, 14 something? 14, little 14 pounds. But for some reason, it feels heavier than that. It's definitely a solid piece of equipment. Same way with this. Shoot, I'll forward with it. There you go. Pretty solid metal. Anyway, I don't want to ding it up, but that's metal. That's pretty good. Pretty solid piece of equipment. Honestly, I don't want to do this, but if you were asking me to get measurements for the deck up and the deck down, so I'm going to do that. But let you know, there's in the back, there's locks that you got to unlock before I lift it up. So anyway, I don't want to do it, but I'll do it because somebody watching my channel requested it. It's actually not that hard. And you gotta put those pieces up. Don't force them. And latch on slow and steady because it's going against the motors with the cable. So you push it up. A slow steady makes it easier. If you try to go fast, it puts a, it puts a load on it. Just let you know. So when you put the deck up, you got a lock on each side. Man, there's a mess. I'm sweating. Gosh. Anyway, when you put the deck up, you can lock it on both sides and it holds it in place up here. And then when you get it down, you lock it in place again. So the locks are to hold this in whatever position you put it. All right. <clears throat> You see these arms, legs, or whatever they're called, extensions. 
braces, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, they do stick out. So when you have this up, you will have these. See where the slots where they go? Where they go on the, right here. So they will be sticking out. So if you have this in a room or whatever your situation is, you want to fold that up. You got to think about to have these on the floor too. Speaking of floors, you notice mine's all damaged up. But anyway, I bought my house about three years ago and it used to be a rental property, so that's to tell you about everything you need to know. So that's why I buy stocks in the stock market. I don't buy rental properties. People don't take care of it. Anyway, I said I'll fix my floors and all the kids move out the house. <laughs> Been there, done that. So anyway, I guess I lied. I guess they will slide in. I didn't know that. So right now. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> if this is hell to last me. I'm gonna put it back in about like that, but it looks to me like if it, I don't want for to get up here for support, but they got these. So. Hmm. Anyhow, these will slide in and out, I guess, up to four inches in and to the all the come, <laughs> to come all the way out. <clears throat> but I guess you could take take them all the way out. You know, we're about four inches there, but. I kind of want something there for stability. I want something there for stability to keep them falling over. While I'm here, something I noticed. If I watches this, I know they watch my other videos. I hope they do. I really do. And I hope Oxford, if you're watching this, appreciate it. Not because you're watching it, but because hopefully you're watching it and what feedback I got. But more importantly, the feedback below in the comment section. That's really what I want Fox, uh, Oxford to look at because hopefully it helps them out and you and I as uh, customers. All right, these little pegs, again, I don't want to add a whole lot of money for what they do, but these little rubber pegs, they work great um, for most people's situations, but I know like your mostly refrigerators, dishwashers, your washing machines, and stuff like that when you buy for your home, they have an adjustment. So you can screw it to level out whatever you're putting on the surface. Because not everybody's home over the years settles and it's not exactly perfectly flat. I mean, you may think so, but that's not the case. That's, again, that's why most of your major appliances have adjustments. So washing machines, dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, whatever. A lot of them have adjustments. So if this has an adjustment, That'd be wonderful, but I got a fix for it. So you can use popsicle uh, tongue suppressors, wooden ones, or uh, paint stirrers, or whatever you have, and you can shim it up with that. Cause I'm gonna have to do that to mine, and I got that to do that this morning. But this, this again, if these were screw them out, screw them in to adjust it, it'd be great. All right. <clears throat> when you take in consideration the lock back here, this is the lock I was referring to. To unlock and lock your the deck. When you take that in consideration, you're sitting at right around two feet. Now I'm not getting exactly down to the sixteenth of an inch. I use a micrometer and calibers and dial indicators at work because I'm in aviation. I know how to use it and use measurements, but this is not really a perfect calibrated tape measure, and this is getting me close enough to where. If it was me and I was trying to fit in a tight spot, I would go up, round up myself to make sure I had clearance. Now, I'm only assuming the purpose of this is for bracing. And I know, sadly, in the world we live in, everybody likes to sue people. <laughs> Maybe Yachtsfit should put a little warning right here, or a warning on these. Do not remove for bracing or um, 
tip and go over hazard or something like that because these dump skulls out here like to suit people that would be a suggestion um i'm trying to think of everything i think of uh doing with the close-up so anyway this is about measuring close-up uh views i know the lighting is not the best but for what it's worth this is up close to top or the tower or screen or whatever and i know it's turned off right now but it seems really clear I'm, i mean i'm not everybody you know everybody's not gonna be happy and <laughs> that's just the world too but to me the clarity of the screen and the size of the screen is really well speaking of screens i i, I know Again, I'm not the one designing it, but I wish they would do, we're not Peloton, but I wish they would make a screen like Peloton with a heads up display overlay with what you're doing with a background of whatever kind of exercise you're doing to kind of keep you motivated and keeps you from being bored and kind of interactive. I think that would be so beautiful. I think it would be classy, really nice. But here's the, this is the only thing I've seen them put on like a the symbol, these caps. And that's because <clears throat> obviously there's plastic and clearance getting into doorways. 45 inches. Oh. Now, in my other video, when I had the bench here pulled back to do the ropes, Nine foot from the wall, that gives you enough clearance from the wall behind it to out past that wheel on the back of the bench. Look at that sweaty. <clears throat> nine feet. That's actually about that right here. Nine feet. And then I haven't even done the rowing yet, so I don't know where your back would be at in relation to the seat because that's just to the back. So nine feet. Eighty-seven inches. <clears throat> Eighty-seven inches, and how I come to that number? Because when it gets set up, it's not going to be flush right against the wall. So wherever they put it, off the wall a little bit to here, it's eighty-seven inches from here to my floor bo uh, boards. <clears throat> so anyway, eighty-seven inches again, and then nine feet with the bench out using it for drawing exercise. one and a quarter inches the top of the machine. This is some close-up video for a request. This is a cutout. Look, I'm not gonna knock it. I'm uh this is plastic metal. I'm impressed so far because I haven't even used it yet really because it's not even 24 hours. This is up close so people can see it. There's your, your numbers, your holes. So that way you know you're, you're definitely level when you're lining up your equipment. This, don't touch the cables while it's doing this, it's just tightening the slack out of it. Here. It took the slack out. So, engineer that was here helping set it up. Nice guy, Peter, he uh, was explaining that to me. It, it, so you don't want to be pulling all that <clears throat> or fighting against the motors. 
when it's doing that. Anyway, this is close up. I guess it depends on what kind of screen you have because you can't see the screen like I see the screen because you're looking at it through your phone or your computer. So, there. But <clears throat> it looks about the same quality as my phone's the Samsung uh, Note, and the screen looks clear just like mine. It's a smartphone. It even shows, I don't know if you can see it through here, obviously, but the floor in the background, okay? I've never been here, but it looks like it's some kind of marbling, like it's got a little bit of white veins in the marbling of the floor. You can even see that in the screen, even me without my green glasses on. And so, I mean, if you can see his hair is my face, that's funny. But the screen is good. Um, how to use it? Don't ask me yet. <clears throat> Don't ask me yet. I'm gonna have to work through all this. Like I said, I just got off work. I haven't had time. But I'll do that with y'all. And I know y'all wanna go through it. And y'all have asked, I don't blame you. So how about let's learn it together. So watch my channel. And when I go do the exercises, watch me fumble through it. Watch me make a fool of myself. <laughs> myself <laughs> but anyway um it's fun i'm not a mr olympic i'm in aviation i'm in the quality and uh that's what i do for a living so let me lock this back down close it up if you look at this one you'll see the other one's different there's something missing here. That'll be in another video. I like it. <clears throat> Oops. Oh. Shoot. See, that was a struggle. I guess I'm an idiot. Push this down. Yes, sir. You don't have to do that. No instruction manual. See, look. Look at this. Look. Move up. Pull. Push it. Pull. Push it. Go this side. I haven't even done this one yet. This was done yesterday when they literally they put it open. Push it. Anything. See my fingers up? Anything happening. Push this down. Yeah, whatever. I didn't know. Well, it's not. Hold on. It's not missing. Hold on. Show this one. Yeah, it is. See? Clevis. There you go. The rest of the story in another video. <clears throat> there is screws staying here. I've actually used the bench over it, but since I'm at the bench over it, I just leave them out, but I got them in a bag. The digital, uh, the plates. Pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. It's a little bit of dust on it or whatever. <laughs> Dirt. But, uh, it's like aluminum and plastic. It's like aluminum. I guess it's all aluminum, I guess. Some kind of metal. I thought that was plastic on the outside, maybe it is. Maybe that is, but this is. This is solid. Anyway, it's solid. It's heavy. The bar is solid. Bench is solid. It's not. Mine's got this messed, messed up right there. Um, it's not like soft, like you were riding across country, then, but it's sturdy, durable feeling.
All right. I think I answered everything.